We're here at San Vicente Reservoir, a huge reservoir in Southern California, and we've covered a ton of water today. I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to share with you all how to unlock the true state of charge with your Bluetooth lithium battery. You'll see state of charge referred to in the Newport BMS app as SOC. So just know that that stands for state of charge. That's the current state of your battery life. So the best way to really unlock the true SOC is at resting. And stopping to fish presents a perfect opportunity to do this. So voltage sag is a natural occurrence with all batteries. When the motor's under load, and especially in high pressure situations, whether you're going against current or wind, this is gonna accentuate the voltage sag. To get the most accurate readout, you're gonna wanna sit at resting, powered down, for two to three minutes to account for voltage sag. Checking in on your battery after a few minutes time of resting will give you the true state of charge of your Newport Bluetooth battery. Let me show you how to use the Bluetooth app to refresh the connection to your Bluetooth battery and get the true reading after you've let the battery rest to account for voltage sag. Open up the app and if you're already connected like I am, you'll tap this icon at the very top right corner. At the top of the drop down menu, search devices. If it doesn't connect right away, continue searching. The last three digits here match the three digits on the top of the battery that are etched into the battery case. So now I've refreshed my connection to the battery. I've let the battery account for voltage sag and I'm able to get my true state of charge at 82%, which is really super impressive given the distance that we run today and the conditions. There's been a little bit of breeze and we've covered, I don't know, six or seven miles, I would say. I don't know for sure because we don't have a plotter on this kayak, but I'm really impressed with where this charge level is at. And we have plenty of battery to get back and that's one of the things that you want to know is that you're going to be able to get back with power to spare. One thing I want to point out, and this is exactly why you'll want to make good use of the Newport BMS app, is that when I'm underway and running, the throttle control box will read less of a charge than the actual state of charge. When I was running at full power, I was showing about two bars here. Now that I've rested for a few minutes, voltage sag has been corrected. I'm getting four out of five bars on my charge level on the throttle control box, which indicates about 80%. So I know that I'm right in line with what my app's reading at. If you think to yourself, man, it's using battery at a much faster rate than I anticipated. Number one, check in on the app. Number two, rest for a couple minutes and fish and then see how this corrects itself.